Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you how to create a simple coin animation, using Adobe After Effects. And let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. The design is really simple. This is how I created this coin. In this tutorial, I mainly focus on the animation. So you can try it yourself. I will fast forward the video, to save your time. OK. Now export the Illustrator file to After Effects. You can simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called, Overlord, to export it. By this method, you can export each layer as shapes. Make sure to convert the Illustrator layers into shapes, if you use the drag and drop method. I will lock the background layer. So it will be easier to manage layers. Enable, Draft 3D option. Click this icon. Then, it will become a 3D layer. I will do that for both these two layers. Make sure to have the renderer, as Cinema 4D. Select the stroke layer, and open geometry options. Change the value of extrusion depth, to 40. Now select the middle circle layer, and change its extrusion depth to 35. Let's correct the lighting of the layers. Go to Material Options, and turn off Accepts Lights. Do the same thing, to the other layer as well. OK. Now I will change the view layout, to two views. So it will be easier to manage 3D layers. Select the middle circle layer, and move it to the middle of the other layer. You can simply move it by holding Z axis. Now select the dollar layer. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Parent the first dollar layer to the middle circle layer like this. Again, parent middle circle to stroke. Enable 3D options to both dollar signs. Again, select the stroke layer. Go to transform, and rotate it 180 degrees from the Y axis. Get the second dollar sign to forward. You can simply hold it from the Z axis, and move it. Parent the second dollar sign to the first one. I will change the view layout back to a single view. Change back the rotation value to zero. OK. Now we have finished making the 3D coin. So this is time to animate it. Create a new null layer. Parent the stroke to the null object we created. Let's give the coin an upward motion. Press P to open position settings. And create two keyframes. Move down the coin. Make sure to place your timeline on the first keyframe. Again, move the timeline to a position like this. Copy the second keyframe and paste it. Then move the coin upward. OK, I think this position is good. I will remove the anchor points of the keyframes, by using the convert vertex tool. Let's see the animation. The animation is good. But we have some remaining work to do. Move the timeline to the middle of these two keyframes. Copy the last keyframe, and paste it here. Now move the coin a little bit downward. Select all keyframes, and easy ease it. Let's see the animation again. Select all keyframes, and open the graph editor. Make sure you are in the speed graph. Then, create a graph like this. Let's check the animation again. I think the animation is looking good. Now it's time to spin the coin. Select the stroke layer again. Move the timeline to last keyframe position. Make a new keyframe to the X rotation. Get back the timeline to a position like this. 
and create another keyframe. Change the second keyframe value to 1. Select both keyframes and easy ease it. Let's check the animation. It's good, but let's correct the timing by adjusting two keyframes. Now it's time to create the circle burst. So, get the ellipse tool. And create a circle like this. Press Ctrl, Alt plus Home. And get the anchor point into the middle. Also, I will align it into the middle of the composition. Scale it a little bit. So, we can expect a good burst effect. Now, open the transform option inside ellipse 1. Create two keyframes for the scale, 0 to 100. Select both keyframes and easy ease it. Let's check the animation. Cool. Now, remove the stroke, and enable the fill. Again, select both keyframes and open the graph editor. I will create a graph like this. Again, select the ellipse one. Press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Press U, to open keyframes. Move the bottom keyframes, about 3 to 4 frames forward. Now we can see two circles appearing. Select Contents, and add Merge Path. Make sure that the Merge Path is under both Ellipse 1 and 2. Also, make sure to have Fill 1, underneath that. Then change the mode, to Subtract. Let's check the animation. The Burst animation is looking good. I will cut the layer from this place. Let's place the Burst effect at the correct position in the timeline. Now, parent the top layer, into the stroke layer. I think this is the correct position of the burst effect. So I will place this layer here. Move that layer below all layers. Check the final animation, and now we are done. I hope you have learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video as well as to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.